Yet another backstage altercation, which happened before Dynamite, the 30-year anniversary of Dynamite today, involving Sammy Guevara and Andrade. Dave, what yes. happened? Well, you tell me what you've heard, cause, and I'll tell you, I have actually some notes here on what I've heard. So, Well, it started with the interview that Andrade had done, where he told a story about how the only person he'd ever had a problem with was Sammy Guevara. Who he said keep, had... keep, in, keep in mind, he said that he wasn't going to spread gossip and that he wasn't going to mention the name, and then he mentioned the name in the next sentence. So he says that Sammy Guevara once complained that he hit him too hard in a match, and he said, it's wrestling. If, if I hit you, you hit me. And he said he confronted him and asked if there was a problem, and Sammy said okay, or said there was no problem, and so that was that. So Sammy on Twitter... Uh, unleashed on Andrade on Monday, and Andrade responded to him and essentially said, "I'll see you at Dynamite." And they well, were so 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 Sammy. Um, just just so it says, Sammy probably shouldn't have gone on Twitter. Neither of them should have gone on Twitter. Yeah, but they went they went back and forth on Twitter. I mean, Andrade um, was look. Andrade is trying to get trying to get fired okay we all know that um and you know so far when guys want to leave some will go to great extremes to do that it's happened with wwe i've talked to people in wwe who've tried to get fired with some of the craziest things in the world and i've told them look it's not gonna work um and they there were some crazy stories of people trying to do things to get fired now now getting in a fight was never one of them, but but there's things much crazier than than that um, from different people who you know wanted to leave and get out and were not going to be allowed to do that because the company wasn't going to release them. So now the situation is on the other front where there's where there's a few people and it's not that many. It's like three, right? That that want to leave and you know there's different stories and whatever and Andrade's one of them. And, you know, has basically said it, you know, publicly in that interview, you know. All he essentially said. talked about the mask versus career match at the show that was scheduled for Friday. And he said, you know, maybe I'll just maybe I'll just lay down. And then well, you know, he it's, also it's, he also noted that, you know, I that, that, I, that, I matches, that matches off, by the way. But yes, I, I do, we'll get I, to that. I, I, I do want to mention this really quick because the, you're bringing that match up because um, obviously I was cr very critical of the match um, because, you know, it's no build. Right. And so but don't and don't please, please don't start and go. Oh, they've been doing interviews for a month. I know they've been doing interviews for a month about Andrade recruiting him. And if they were doing a match on Friday um, if and it was scheduled where. If Andrade won, 10 had to join him. That, in fact, would have been built up for a month. Andrade, in a retirement versus mask match, they did nothing as far as 10's mask. They did certainly nothing to build up Andrade retiring if he loses. That came out of nowhere. Now, the reason they did this was because they were playing off the rumors, which they're doing a lot of now on the Internet, and everything well they're not rumors i mean they're playing off the it's it's true that andrade wanted to get out so they're playing that up and it was a way to tease people with the idea that hey you know they're doing this out of nowhere um so maybe andrade's going to lose that's why they're doing it so that was actually the reason they did this was actually because of that now the match is not taking place it has nothing to do with neither guy wanting to lose or anything like that it was um you know, but the the whole the whole just so that that was the whole just the situation of the Andrade match and why it's being done. You can judge for yourself if that's a good idea or a bad idea. They're doing a lot of stuff like that right now because they believe that that's where the fan base resides and everything like that. And so they all know, everyone knows these stories. I don't know if that's true. Um, you know, it, it's it's. You know, whatever, but that's, but we're going to, and I'm sure we'll get more of that, you know, that type of a thing where if something's hot on social media and, you know, they've done it in some of their angles, you know, like the stuff with, you know, the tampering and everything, they're trying to play off real life. So that's just what AEW is doing right now, whether they'll, they'll continue doing it. I don't know, but that's what they're doing now. Okay. So, um, as far as what happened, um, so after all of this stuff, okay, so, so Sammy, basically said that 
you know, Andrade wasn't telling the truth with his story. And whether that's true or not, and then Andrade, you know, and also he also said that uh, Andrade was only there as a favor for, you know, to Ric Flair, and that Andrade has now failed to get over in two different companies. So, you know, that's, you know, whatever. Um, probably should not have done that. Andrade shot back. I don't remember what he said anymore. What did, he say? what did Andrade say when he shot back? I don't remember. I just remember him saying that he was going to see him at Dynamite. He was going to see him at Dynamite. Okay, so so Tuesday night, they were talked to, both of them, and they were told uh, no fighting. Um, and um, Andrade was told that um, if this is your idea, you know, you're not going to get fired if you fight, but you will be sent home. And Andrade said that, don't worry, there's nothing's going to happen. There's going to be no fighting. This was Tuesday night. Sammy was the same thing. Nothing's going to happen. Um, they had security there. Everybody was warned ahead of time. Um, and then I know it has been written. Um, you can tell. I, I've heard probably five different stories, but three of them are are identical which is probably similar to what you heard and the fourth one is somewhat identical um, well here's the thing so tmz had a story that said that sammy guevara had thrown several punches at andrade that didn't happen and then andrade, no 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 their story was that their story was that sammy pushed him and that andrade punched back uh, the story actually said that sammy threw punches the tmz story Okay. Well, he, okay. Well, there's but regardless, no, regardless, th that for sure, that for sure didn't happen. That's the story that was on TMZ. Okay. The story that was not on TMZ that I heard from multiple people was that, in fact, Sammy did not throw any punches. One person, one person did say that Andrade spun him around and Sammy shoved him, and then Andrade punched him. The other stories were that Andrade just punched him. And that Sammy did not fight back. And well, it was. It, this is this is this is what I heard from from someone who I'm totally trust on this one. Um, that Andrade was waiting. You know, like everybody was waiting for so Andrade was waiting in the hallway. He got two punches in before it was broken up. So and Sammy didn't fight back. Yeah, um, obviously, from you know, if you you watch the show tonight, the punches didn't. Um, you know, they didn't leave a mark. So, I mean, they weren't like they were solid punches or anything like that, but he did throw two punches, and then it was broken up right away, and Andrade was sent home. Well, one of the one of the keys to this is, unlike in the CM Punk situation, where both sides, both sides agreed that CM Punk did, in fact, throw the first punch, and the dispute was why he threw the first punch. Did he, well, was, did he, he just he, attack was, them when they came was, in, was or he, did he feel was, threatened? Did, did he feel threatened? Yes. Or, yeah, yes. But that, the key is both dispute. sides told the same story. He threw the first punch. Yes. This, the two sides clearly are telling the opposite story. The Andrade side well, the, well, says that Sammy is, went after this him. Is not, this is not a side. There well, were, there were, this, was, this is not, I mean, Andrade may, may have said this, but... Well, that's clearly the side then. Okay, yeah, but there's people there. Well, I know, people, but my my point is, it was broken. It was broken up immediately. People were there, and people saw it. Yes. That story. The story of of Sammy throwing the first punch, I know, is not true. Well, here's my was, point. Here's my if point. If it was Sammy, would have been sent. Yes. There, if he Sammy threw the home. first punch, he would not have worked the main event. That's the yeah. point. Yes. But there Sammy, are two sides. There's a side that says that Sammy threw the punches, which is okay. clearly wrong. But there is that side. There's that okay. side, and then there's the other side. And it okay. appears the other side is accurate because you're not working the main event of the show if you attack. Andrade and punched him multiple times well, especially before he were, knocked you out. Since they were both told yesterday there would be no fighting or you would be sent home. Yes. So whoever threw the punch first was sent home. I mean, that's the end of the story. And I know that a lot of people, you know, because Sammy did go on Twitter and say what he said, you know, think that they all should be fired all the time or he should have been sent home too. Or then they got mad that he got the pin, whatever. But the reality is, is that and, and look, you know, he was talked to and hopefully these situations don't happen again. And, you know, um, he again, he probably should not have gone on social media um, to do that. But I you know, you can see where he's coming. And there's also there's also a lot more to the story, too. But you can see where he's coming. Um, 
as far as, you know, everyone wants to defend themselves when they feel that they're wronged or someone's telling a, a, a story about them that isn't true, that makes them look bad. And so, you know, that's the motive. And so that's what people are always going to do. Um, and he did that. Um, and, you know, it just, it, but they, they were absolutely aware of this. I was really mad about this because it's like, Jesus Christ this is on social media the day before. Um, everyone knows Andrade's trying to get fired anyway. It's the perfect thing. They should have been, you know, they should have never been near each other. And in fact, that they, you know, that was exactly what they all thought too. And that's why they were talked to ahead of time. But it still happened because, and this is the thing what you and I talked about, um, last week when you've got guys, like, you know, you said, like, when you've got guys who don't want to be there. Now, granted, I, like I said, I have heard plenty of stories personally from a couple of WWE guys, um, several actually, who came up with crazy stories. But none of them involved starting a fist fight. Um, this was Andrade's way out. And it's the argument of if a guy doesn't want to be here, they become a cancer in the locker room. And um, that's the negative part of it. And, and the AEW locker room, for the most part, look, it's it's looked really bad because you've had this thing, you had the punk thing, you know, you had the Eddie Kingston thing, which also involves Sammy, which makes Sammy look bad because Sammy's in two of them. Although Eddie is, you know, Eddie took full blame for that one. Um, and then Sammy came on social media and probably said what he shouldn't have. But Eddie was, the, at that point, Eddie took the blame, you know, personally, you know, to me, to everyone, it's like, look, it was my fault. Um, you know, he was mad that the guy called him fat. Then they agreed to everything, and Sammy called him fat on TV again. And everybody was fine with it because they were fine. You know what I mean? That was all part of the storyline, you know, insulting each other. Um, Eddie got hot the first time because Sammy didn't clear it with him. Miscommunication. Okay. So, um, but... You know, Sammy was involved with that, but Eddie, you know, was the one to defend when all was said and done, Eddie was the one to defend Sammy. But people, you know, I mean, when you're in two of them, it's uh, it's a bad situation. But, you know, from an AEW standpoint, um, they they didn't they didn't send them home after the tweet. They tried to do what they did. This is what happened. And that's why Sammy was there and not sent home. Um, but I'm sure that a lot of people are going to get, you know, that's not going to be a very acceptable answer to a lot of people because um, Sammy's very unpopular. And uh, he was also, you know, um, but that's that's the situation. And the, the big thing is, is okay, so what's Andrade is going to be sent home? He's got years left on the deal. Um I don't know how you handle this one. I do. Uh, what? You just pay him. He doesn't do anything. Uh, that's a waste of money. Well, actually, well, think about it this way. And this is no disrespect to Andrade, because you could say the same thing for Sammy, who was also involved in this. Uh, you're going to pay him for three years, and whether he's there or not, if he's there, what revenue has Andrade derived for the company in the last few years is he is he alone selling no, large no, numbers no, of no. tickets no no no, or no look, look, uh, look look no no we know we, we know look uh, andrade andrade could be gone and it's you know it's, it's neither here nor there business wise for them um yeah but so my point is you're you're paying him to be there and not really derive any you know because nobody's deriving revenue solely on their own with the exception of a few people the vast majority of the people there are not deriving revenue one way or the other so you're going to pay him for two years to be there or are you going to pay him two years to not be there and even though you are paying him to not go to work what you're also doing is sending a message that you ain't going to get fired if you sign a contract here you're not going to get fired so we will just send you home, and you will not work for two years. And there might be a guy or two that is fine with they that get, idea. There's, 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 there's things, you know. Um, I mean, because it happens. You know, I mean, like in WWE, it happens. In sports, it happens all the time. People get suspended without pay. Um, now, there's a time limit as far as, you know, you can't suspend somebody without pay forever. Um, at some point, you do have to release them, um, you know, and it's... 
then 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 it gets to the lawyers and god only knows how that ends up getting worked out but um you know it's a situation um one of the things that's and again it's like here's the thing the i mean it's 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 great though because you know i mean the one thing with 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 again i mean this is a wwe story because wwe contacted all these people and and you know how that all goes and it has been incredibly successful for wwe um in the sense of contacting people or or in some cases you know working through intermediaries letting people know that that they want them and those guys want to come back for whatever reason and you know i mean a lot of them have very good relations with triple h and that's 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 a big part of it you know and and with vince gone you know a lot of them you know now want to go back and with that situation um you know it's it becomes it, it has created incredible unrest in aew and that's legit i mean there's been incidences you know this this being the key one um but it's not the only one and the problem is is that um you know it's like it, i i don't know if um if they should you know i mean look there's there's again when when andrade was gone um from wwe would you have picked him up if you were in that situation and and you know for me like andrade was a yes alistair black was a yes buddy murphy was not a giant yes but he was a yes you know keith lee was a giant yes you know um strickland was a yes athena was a yes right you know so when i look at the people who they've signed this is just my judgment you know, most of them, most of them I would go with. The, the, you know, you don't know. The big thing that changed was Vince being dumped. It changed the whole dynamic of everything as we've seen. And um, you don't know. But, what's ha but, you know, what's happened in a lot of these cases is that those signings have really backfired. Because uh, you end up with people who, for whatever reason, um, you know, regret it um didn't know and it's you know and, and again it's only a few of them most of the ones most of the ones are fine and most of the ones haven't you know caused any problems so yeah before all of these guys were signed the locker room was was so much better um but you know i mean it's changed you know and that's an, you know another issue but yeah it looks you know, I, again, like I was pretty mad about what happened because I just thought, my God, how can they let this happen? But the reality is, is that they weren't asleep at the wheel. But even even with that, you know, it's it's one of those situations. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know what any other versions that you heard. I mean, that that was the that's the best version I heard. Most of the versions were similar, though, you know, in the sense of. Um, you know, Andrade hit him, Sammy didn't hit him, and, you know, Andrade was sent home, and Sammy wasn't sent home, and Sammy didn't do anything wrong, and, I mean, that's the general consensus. There was one version I heard where Sammy said something to him, um, not, didn't push him, but said something to him, and then got hit, but based on the story that, from, from what I heard, was that, that, e that didn't even happen, that it was, um, you know, basically a blindside sucker punch, like like you first had told me. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.